all right so a very good evening to everybody today as usual we have a question have got responses rather not response responses from two students for the same question and see we will see what mistake this is a sentence and what mistake this is a sentence for the same question that is written okay a lot to learn so before we start let's understand how you are evaluated first thing first task response second thing coherence cohesion third thing grammar and fourth thing vocabulary <clears throat> these are the known things right so these two are not a huge priority it will you need to have grammar i'm not denying it but on an average normal grammar just the way i'm talking to you right now just the way you talk to your friends in the office that kind of a grammar is enough you don't have to be shakespeare vocabulary as well you don't need to have shakespeare in english over here to get good bands 7.5 is also possible with normal sentence normal vocabulary but these two need to be precise what is task response the right ideas not just the ideas the ideas which fits aptly to the question for whatever the question asked have you answered it with right ideas coherence cohesion for whatever the ideas that you wrote have you written in a way that it won't incite any questions in the minds of a reader that means have you explained in a way that is considered a very good narrative meaning some main idea some supporting idea and all this main idea supporting idea you have justified enough in the example section this is coherence question these two are important so let's uh, look at uh, these two questions i'll just increase the font further hopefully it's much more clearer now all right so let's read the question can anyone read it and tell me if this is a four para structure essay or five para structure essay quick just by reading it you should tell just this is it a four para structure essay or a five para structure essay hello akriti well it's akriti's essay by the way need time okay i'll give you 30 seconds take your time no muzakkar is it a four para yes akriti and um, bindu five para structure mm -hmm. well uh, you can still write in the four para structure but i don't recommend i always encourage people to use five para because the question demands it so first is in close second is conclusion you leave it these two are mandatory for any question but here discuss both the views first view second para second view third para opinion one more para apart from this one intro and one conclusion it's a five para structure can we still write four and get marks yes but i don't suggest that five para structure so here as well this is a first para second para third paragraph fourth paragraph five para fifth para all perfect but this i need little more little more all right so let's see akriti says say how much marks she gets what mistakes does she has committed uh with respect to task response coherence cohesion grammar and vocabulary <clears throat> usually the first and the last paragraph is not scored even the examiners will not be interested to read it clearly completely but is discuss both the views so there is no view point to be written so no need to write much some people say some have a say no problem perfect teenagers youngsters should study should learn all the school subjects all the subjects taught all the subject is wrong subjects taught in school by others believe the specific subject should be learned which can lead to heavy salaries a good salary perfect all perfect i believe she has not spent more than 2 minutes to write this this has a intense to discuss both the views with my opinion perfect done and dusted let's not worry about it all right on one hand now the person should say teenagers should study all subjects why what is the ideal um, thing the ideal idea 
the main idea for this question common idea why do you think that we have all the subjects even in engineering when i did engineering first year i took computer science but first year we had all the subjects anyone knows why i believe many of you are engineers or would have you know chosen your own um you know path but at least till 12th you would have studied all the subjects why so that the actual idea is there so that you go after something that you love you develop that liking or you figure out what is good for you you will see yourself what interests you more so that you will have a taste of all and then you choose one based on your interest so that when you choose one based on your interest you will be good at it you can earn a double not single double this is the actual idea correct apart from this any other best ideas i can think of i am not sure this is what is required for this question akriti at any cost some people believe learning range of subjects in school see grammatically small silly mistake should be avoided you cannot say boy went to hotel this is a wrong sentence there are countable noun concepts whenever you are writing a noun which is countable means you can count them then you cannot write without articles you need to write a boy or boys a hotel or hotels if you are getting doubt then put the for anything you the will come for hotel or hotels doesn't matter just put the problem solved but if you want to learn then singular don't miss writing a school is singular then you need to write in a school otherwise in the school otherwise in schools otherwise in the schools otherwise in schools is fine but if you don't write anything and just add school that is considered grammatical mistake with such mistakes can i kill, can i still get 7 yes 7.5 yes we have seen people getting 7.5 in the past okay learning range of subjects is essential and leads to wisdom leading to wisdom is a main idea great idea not denying it but now using this wisdom what they will do that is what i want this is because different subjects witness a plethora of knowledge on a single platform and each subject carries its own significance and importance which helps them to activate their cognitive abilities which excites them to learn new things okay now as as long as she talks about this new things i'm okay to give her 7.5 but is she telling that new thing so it's like whenever you create a dependency whenever you you know like i mean like put in a invoke a new thing then make sure you explain about it if you don't explain then coherence question is not justified i'm not sure what new things let's say for instance till till here it's fine <clears throat> learning art history or mathematics has different facts and figures involved which helps students to think on different tangents and get to know what and how things happen and the reason behind it which sounds fascinating no i am not clear about it was 100% i'm not clear. probably how would i how would i have written so there is a technique <coughs> you need to prove a is equal to b if you're not able to prove a is equal to b there is c also if you're not able to prove a is equal to b then prove a is not equal to c b not equal to c and then c is equal to b one of them is true then a is not equal to c that means the reverse algorithm is way what we take sometimes when you're running out of ideas you just prove the opposite meaning here for instance if a student learns only maths or only computers and do not study history or let's say science what is going to happen what devastating factor it going to cause and on the other hand when the student studies this 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 is you will have a lot of knowledge and can apply in the real life too explain no so many things are there then it would be clear that they will learn new things which is going to this is again generic say whenever you talk about for instance or uh, always remember this essay is like eleven story building correct the first line is like eleven floor second line is like probably fifth sixth floor example you come to basement means go to specific go deeper 
that is problem. Learning art, history, mathematics, there's different facts and figures involved. Means what? Uh, which in health students should think on different tangents. Means what? And get to know what and how things happen. Like what things? And the reason behind it, what? Which sounds fascinating. Like how? Thus, it is clear learning, leaning, learning variety at school, at a school, always leads to lots of learnings. Oh, I'm not okay with this. You have written good. Till here, it's fine as long as you keep a proper instance. You always remember when you're not able to write correctly in the instance, take up the reverse scenario. If at all, if students don't do this, then these are the problems and hence students have to learn. Or if at all students don't do this, they will have this, these problems. But if they study, in real life, all these problems can be easily tackled. And hence, I believe, students must study all the subjects. Always start writing only after you get the clarity of example. I repeat it. Always start writing first para. Only after you get complete visuals of examples and second and third time. That's how I do it. So that I'll be confident, stress-free, I can enjoy writing. Otherwise, while writing first para, my mind will be thinking second para, what to write? Example is so difficult to write. Once you get the clarity, once you have an instance, for instance, complete this, what I'm going to write. For instance, if students don't study this, 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 and study only computer science, they will have this knowledge, but they will not be able to handle these things in the real life. However, students with you know taste of these things can handle everything in the real life. Oh, if this is my example, what could be my main idea? On one hand, learning all the subjects will help students encounter different scenarios and find solutions. However, learning one subject may not you know, be catering to all the scenarios. This is because every subject has its own talents involved, has its own structures, knowledge involved, which will definitely help students to tackle multiple scenarios in the real life. For instance, now perfect. So basically, I'm, I'm going from the basement. All these things, once we have clarity, then only start writing. Until then, don't write. There's no point in writing. <clears throat> and I believe all of you who are sitting here in the class are equally capable enough to think of the visuals first with respect to the example or the main idea in any way. Example, as, you know, the main idea supporting idea or main idea supporting the example in any way. Once you get a picture for second and third paragraph, then only start so that you will rock. This probably started without having much clarity on what to write, for instance. <clears throat> well, I'm not sure. I'm just guessing. No, you have to write example, but if at all you are not sure, Bindu, I'll explain more. Muzake. If you're not sure what to write, what to write, then apply reverse algorithm. Question is, they need to study. Some believe teenagers should study all subjects. But I'll say, if at all they don't study, these are the problems they face and hence they should study. <clears throat> there are two ways of writing. One way is this way. There are two ways of writing. One way is this way. Other way is this way. One way is this way. Other way is this way. Both will take the food inside the body and come out in the morning. Correct? Teenagers should study all subjects instead of saying why they should study all the subjects. If they study all the subjects, these are the advantages. If this thing your mind is not able to get, then you just take the reverse. If they don't study all these subjects, these are the problems they face and hence they should study all the subjects. Both are same. Here I'm trying to prove that if at all they don't study because the reverse for this question, the reverse algorithm, right, is, you know, helping you write in a much easier way. I don't know, but if I were you, probably I would have chosen uh, the reverse algorithm here and explained. That would have added more clarity. This is not adding clarity. It's just written on the terrace. I want you to get into the basement and write. Getting it accurate. Otherwise, English way is all fine. Um, silly, small, that's totally fine. The way you've written first, second paragraph is also good. Example, try to write more. Writing example is very easy. Maintain a diary and write every day what happened, what things you did on the everyday basis from morning 6 to evening 9. But that should you know, invoke curiosity and that way you should write. Every day write automatically things will be fixed. Writing example is easy. You just have to be ready to write. So this is not very clear. Second question. 
now she has to flow students should focus on only the subjects that help in earning good salary the moment i read the question example i go for example if i write what is that subject which earns good salary in computer science computer science teenagers means probably they're looking at 12th 11th 10th teen 13 14 15 you don't have to talk about kids students not kids you can talk about teenagers that's what is given so i'll talk about computer science in the future they are going to study for the computer science i mean they i mean they are going to work in the same field which gives them a lot of money what is the point in working or studying other subjects and if at all they study they will not be able to focus on computer science <clears throat> correct the marks also will go down they will not get a better salary they will not get a better job no better score and then it's wise it's wise that they study only subjects that help them on the livelihood see this is my example this is my example this much clarity i got and now for this example i'll talk about first line on the other hand some believe the students to study only those subjects which earn them a good salary as this will allow them the time and the complete effort to be put into one subject thereby they can excel in that subject this is because learning all subjects will divide their attention and because of which they will not be able to study better in that subject which helps them on the livelihood in the future. For example, now whatever I thought before, I will put it down and study. Logically, it's fitting. Somehow that matchmaking is happening. That's it. And then, in my opinion, fourth para, at least two, three sentences, four sentences. Now you talk, which one is better? They may earn a good salary, but they would have earned a much better salary if they had chosen something that they are passionate about. But to know where their passion lies, it's equally important to learn all the subjects. And hence my opinion is that it's better students learn all the subjects instead of focusing on one so that they understand where their passion lies and accordingly they can go in pursuit of it and earn a much bigger salary than a person would have earned by studying that one subject. And then the study eight bands, finish it off, no else ever again in my life. It's simple, but know that you should write in a way that doesn't invoke a thought, extra question mark thought in uh, the teacher's mind. Critics argue that students, okay, this is what I thought I would write. Let's see what Akriti has written. Critics argue that teens should only ponder upon the subjects which will offer them, not give, to use a better word. <clears throat> compensate them with decent salaries or offer them with decent salaries. That is not the main idea. This is the rewritten of the question. It's in the question. Should help them in earning good salary. Students should focus only on that which should help them. Should only ponder upon. Same thing you've written. Avoid using such statements. In the worst case, it's fine. Try to write your main idea in the first line. This is because in this competitive and inflated world, comma, <coughs> It is vital to earn money and should be taught at a younger age. However, that's it. This paragraph is done now. No, you explain the second view. No, you're already turning towards your opinion. Is that right? Opinion you've written separately. Okay. Then why you wrote however? Say I'm not reading it full. I read however and I got to know because however is a contrasting thing. Now she is trying to say it is bad. Correct, Prakriti? Yes or no? Yes, you're trying to say it. However, this will lead to that, this, this. Don't use. But why? The question is discuss both the views. As much reference you gave for the second para, the same amount of reference you need to give for the third para. Here you proved. Here also you put on the other hand. Entire thing should talk about the other view. The other view. Here don't invoke another thought. So that opinion I can, you know, go at one side or go at one side easily. No. Here you have to prove completely that it is equally important as per the critics who favor the counter argument that students should study only thus those subjects that earn them good salary. However, the perspective of teaching desired subjects just for money is pointless and worthless because it constrains them to imbibe knowledge at their golden years of schooling. Not clear. What do you mean by this? That's what. Write more. The subjects learnt only to earn money can lead to incomplete learnings. Where you wrote incomplete learnings? Not clear, first of all. Second of all, you have not written. You have not proved the second view. 
editing it running out of content that's what so take your time until you get that content don't start writing so here you need to prove the second view completely just the way you proved in the second paragraph the first view i opine that so this paragraph was okay but instance was not clear this paragraph is wrong i opine that studying everything in school is essential to have knowledge to the fullest which strengthens the brain power by absorbing too much information so much information explain no how this is not clear however the idea of specific teaching for scientists might shorten their memory lane to confine tangent which may lead to devastating results how, how it will lead you right you will get some because they will not be able to focus they are only towards school oriented once they get into the job they cannot earn also because most of them will be in the field which they don't like just for the money sake they would have gone so many which you guys would have talked isn't it in the real scenario you just have to put it or the other way i opine that money is everything whatever the logic whatever this we say at the end of the day it is the money lifestyle everything you may get happiness if you choose something which you like but that's all just for the philosophy sake it's the money at the end of the day which buys you things so it's always better to work for it you can prove the way you want it don't think examiner will not give marks if i talk about money 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 you're talking about reality it's totally fine so that's what so you could have told either ways but a little bit more clear right more no just continue writing no what is there it's not completely convinced so definitely you'll get 6.5 though few of the things were not there here half of the things i mean you've written all good but not justified this you could have proved the second third paragraph second view completely here a little bit more because you're trying to you strengthens the brain power where you said how if at all you have told here it strengthens the brain power because of this full clarity then you tell here otherwise you introduce something new then explain how it will strengthen you explain you with your own logic Hope you're getting it. Otherwise, to conclude, the appropriate task should be performed at certain ages of life, and for students, gaining knowledge is a priority. Nevertheless, learning uh, for learning is just to have shallow. All good, everything is good, grammatically wise, everything. But these are the problems. It's these two that are six point five. But you have the ability for some. Trust me, you will get it in the exam. Just focus on these things consciously. Um, Muzakir, I'll explain what the question you asked. Uh, that's what. So it's one hour in total. Ideally, forty minutes is what um, the IELTS uh, says to give towards your essay writing, and uh, twenty minutes to the task one. But I would suggest forty-five minutes you can give here, and that is so easy. Everything is already there. You just have to write quickly. So there, don't write a lot of words. If they have told one fifty and above, you write one seventy, one sixty-five, one eighty NF. Here, you put in all your heart and soul and try to give as much time as possible. Okay, Mazakar. Fine. So we will the same essay. <clears throat> Chirak has written. I have already told him seven, but is in some cases it means this may score six point five also. But for the points that he has written, definitely this may score seven. Let's check this out before I ask you guys to write the same essay for the feedback. Okay, it's a four para structure. Okay, in this modern era, few individuals are of the opinion that team should focus and study on. All subject wrong subjects and Chira, you need to work on spellings. I mean, not that you don't know, you know the spellings, but when you type, you're missing out on a lot of spellings. So you need to proofread. So at least one minute separately, you need to dedicate for proofreading so that once you finish your essay, you come back and just read, skim all the things so that you can fix all the spelling errors. During their schooling, however, critics of the statement argue that school kids should only focus on subject matters which inherit them with a higher salary potential i strongly believe students should focus not required this is not required to write because anyhow you're going to write in the next set of paragraph but it's okay writing it is not um is not going to affect your scores as well should focus and give importance to all the subjects equally this essay will be done on one hand it's important to expose the students to all the basic school subjects see all always leads to plural like art, math, language, science, sport, and so on. Before I tell you, this is because the basic understanding of all these subjects allows them to make an unbiased decision 
unbiased and free will decisions one word for their future career this career is lunch career cycle career career remember consciousness is the key prospects since they generally choose not end up and all don't right since they generally end up choosing their passion as their career and and generally choose their passion as their career that means this guy knows the spelling probably here they are little probably careless while writing correct because you know the spellings and why ask probably spelling wrong <clears throat> they tend to outperform the competition and do well in monetary terms as well excellent idea i did not read his and then decide my idea that i told this has uh, taken long time back but this is the idea that has to be written this is the right idea because this is what it is for some questions ideas are so obvious so understanding of these subjects allows them to make unbiased and free will decision for the future since they generally choose their passion as their career they tend to outperform the competition and do well in monetary terms as well excellently written for instance in delhi it was found when students were taught all school subjects they were able to have better and clear goals of their career prospect because it equipped them with knowledge and data to deduce their abilities and passions and accordingly choose the one that they best fit into. Otherwise, also find perfectly written. See, though the example is written in one line, you just see everything that is needed is there. If you think you cannot write like this, then write three sentences which has the same meaning. Divide them. No, I can try writing. Then you write it. It is everything. Delhi was found. All this were taught and they were able to make better clear calls because he has given everything. Whatever he wrote, he has justified. Um, it was found when is the dependent clause. Then because is another dependent clause. All perfectly fine. Uh, Chirag, great write-up. This but still, I would say, for instance, you could have divided into three sentences for readability purpose. You can take up any novel, anything. Usually, people who are good writers, right? They don't complicate things. Probably, they we think they complicate because sometimes we don't understand the vocabulary. It's because of our um, poor knowledge towards it. But they never, you know, write in a very complicated way. They don't write big, big sentences, if you see. Because they don't want to bring complexity in a reader's mind. Right? In a simple way possible. Probably this you could have. When students were taught, they were able to have better clear goals for their career prospects. Full stop. This implies, this refers to the fact that you could have put it in a different way. No word limit, you don't worry. 250 minimum you write. 300, 320 is ideal. Write more, it's totally fine. Otherwise, still a very good writer, except for the spelling of career. All right, now the point is he should have written another paragraph, four paragraphs not written. So let's see how he has squeezed everything into one. It is easy. I should be small. To see why people want their kids to study only the subject that hold a high learning capacity. This is due to the fact that wealth is very important in this fast-paced world. A person's earning capacity is directly proportionate with the standard of living. And people, especially parents, wants is wrong, want their kids to enjoy a high standard of life due to its obvious benefits. Probably you could have given now. Uh, no, but still you did not say why they should study only that no students should focus only on the subject that help them means no need to study all the subjects probably you could have written there's no point in learning even if they learn anyway they're going to study only that so it just wastes the time probably you could have talked about all the subjects in one line mm portion it with the standard of living and people especially want to get a high standard of life due to his obvious benefits that's what you just ended it up you have written it good i'm not denying it probably you could have written a little better way that's it given a little bit more comparison 
if they studied all subjects, what would have happened? Okay, when you consider both the cases, so here you wrote only what will happen if they study one subject. Correct? There you wrote what will happen if they study all the subjects. In both the paragraphs, if you mix both the things, if they study all the subjects, this is going to happen. But if they don't study, this is going to happen. Then third paragraph, if they study one subject, this, all these benefits will be there. But if they study all the subjects, probably everyone will not be able to get good scores in all subjects. Confidence will go down. So when you mix both the paragraphs with both the things, the readability increases. Otherwise, it's still fine. Could have been this, could have been a little better, I felt. Um, However, having said this, I strongly believe that it is important to study all school subjects. As every profession can mint money for an individual, a how boss? Explain, no? Lastly, if I were to only study high earning potential subjects, like art and literature, The chances are high that it will gradually fade from our societies. See, why I told you may get seven? Because opinion, opinion, you don't have to completely explain a lot. You can just state your facts, which you have done. But I'm just hinting you, try to write a little better, a little more by giving comparison. Justify your view. At least one example, if you think it's required, a little bit. I understand it. it's going to be a five-pound structure. It's going to be lengthy. Write fast because some questions demand you to write a bit more. Here, every person's earning capacity is directly proportionate to the standard of living and people especially. All these things are not right. But directly, for instance, you could have come and finished it off. If you think the para is so lengthy, then supporting idea, guys, you can ignore. Directly come to instance. That way, you can reduce the number of uh, words and the type. But yes, what you've written is good enough for a seven. But yes, well, I mean, like I told you, these are a few of the pointers that you need to work on. Just keep these things in mind. I totally understand when you write an essay, it's different, completely different thing. Correct, in 40 minutes, you'll be under pressure. The only thing that I can tell you is enjoy write up, enjoy the writing because you need to write with an intention that, okay, I'm gonna write in a way that whoever reads it will not think that they wasted their 10 minutes of the time. If this is the focus, if this is what it is in the in, inside the mind, definitely your essay will turn out to be really good. And you will enjoy writing it. You will not be under pressure. And you would love writing it. When you enjoy writing it, things are different. When you hate writing it, things are different. <laughs> Correct? So 40 minutes doesn't look like 40 minutes at all. Otherwise, good one, I would have still given seven, but like I told you, a little bit here and there, explain and put it this entire thing in the separate paragraph so that your opinion, which is in the question, is clearly written by forgetting into a separate paragraph. Any doubts? <clears throat> Chirag is happy. Any doubts? So another 40 minutes is left. What do we do for the same question? Give me a second paragraph. Try to compare both. See, these kind of questions. So in each paragraph, you compare both if possible. If not in second paragraph, then at least in third paragraph, in, in one of the paragraphs, you talk about both the things because that's what essay demands. When you say some people believe teenagers should study all subjects, don't focus on just studying all subjects. Focus on this as well, little bit, earning good salary. I, I want you to hint it. In both the paragraphs, both the things should be hinted. Try writing the first few. In second paragraph. I think that would be only possible for us to do it another 20 minutes. Uh, no, Muzakir. You will get it if you send it today, but tomorrow you will definitely get it. These were all sent yesterday morning. Okay. Right now we'll uh, do this. If time permits, I will directly send you a voice note or WhatsApp. Let's do this. Muzakir, you also can do it now. Um, this is what I want, writing the first view in the second para. Entire second para I need, I'll just wait for your answers.
Um, Muzakar, you've written really good. You have a very good hold on the language. But whatever you write, you need to justify. Wide range of subjects equip students with wide knowledge base. Understanding political issues, social, well subjects of art and music, cultivate creativity. And then I added, however, learning one subject alone may not give a taste of having knowledge on all subjects and hence students cannot take decision on what they like or have passion about. Hence choosing to learn all subjects is always vital for one's development. This entire thing is like one basket. They all get into one circle. But what you wrote here, furthermore, a diverse academic curriculum can help students discover their passion and potential career path. This is because if you introduce another idea, then you need to write supporting idea example. Otherwise, don't write this. Hope you're getting it. If you write this, then you need to explain another five to six sentences separately on it. Otherwise, no point, no marks for it. Okay, otherwise, whatever you wrote was good. Just that I added this for a final touch up. Hope I'm audible, right? <clears throat> otherwise, you're good. You're really good. There's no grammatical issues, nothing, just the presentation.
Are you guys still writing? I think we can wrap it up here because I've got a class in the next 30 minutes. If at all, Bindu, you're still writing, you can send me in the WhatsApp to the new number. For the new number, you can check in the ROE WhatsApp group. Uh, morning, I've shared my new number. Old number is not functional. Uh, and Muzakir, if you're, Muzakir, you're actually good. Don't have to worry. You will write better. Uh, but yes, if third para you're writing, you can WhatsApp me directly the picture. And Bindu, second or third para, whatever you write, you can send me. I'll do the review. Thank you. Um, thanks much for your time. I'll again catch you all soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Have a good night's sleep. Bye-bye.